Hey, what's up? It's Jay Lucky Henry. And today, we're gonna to talk about an easement. And what does that mean when we're talking real estate? Get ready. They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R-E-A-L, real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, this is Jay Lucky Henry. So we're talking about easement today, and since we're talking real estate, we're not talking about the easement of feeling at peace. We're talking about the easement that has to do with a right of way. So what this means is, it's normally, the most common scenario for this is, let's say a strip or a road or a pass, pathway that goes through your property for the benefit of someone else's use. So maybe this is an access way to get to a park or an access way for the public to get to some a body of water, perhaps a beach or a lake or a river. And it's something that's on your land that someone else has the ability to use and they're using it for their benefit, not your own. Doesn't mean that you may not be able to use it. Sometimes if it's a public easement, right, that goes to the beach, of course you'll enjoy it as well too if you like to go down to the beach. But sometimes it's specifically just for your neighbor. Now, why would this exist? How does this happen? So perhaps at one point, the entire land was owned by one person, but then split it into two parcels, sold half of the parcel to somebody else, but needed access to the forest or that pathway in order to maintain some type of business entity they had or just personal preference. So then that gets passed down and each time the deeds are sold, that easement stays intact. That's one way that it could come to pass. There's plenty of other reasons for how it may be, why it is. Sometimes it's as simple as like a shared driveway can be considered a sort of easement, right? Maybe this driveway is big and you can fit about four or five cars in there and there's no real agreement as to who owns it. It's kind of like a mutually share, both people have the right to it, first come, first serve. It can be defined in a lot of different ways, but that's what an easement is when we're talking real estate, kind of a right of way to someone else to use your property for their benefit, not yours. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for another video. We're still talking about ways that someone else gains access or control or encroaches on your property with or without your permission. That's what this whole series is about. All right, see you tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.